Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, I want to share uh, this setup, uh, basically involving Sphere Chalk and Geometry Nodes. This is like an old school trick. Um, so basically, I have uh, the grease pencil that I draw from the top view. And for each area that's being cut by grease pencil, we actually have this kind of like a, like a building or like a city, like a really basic one, um, inspired by this Barcelona city from the top view you can see the end gone shapes uh, that's been created and then it's actually surrounded by the buildings I think it's really nice a uh, really nice beautiful design with uh, Sagrada Familia there um, so if we quickly take a look at this demo you can see okay I draw the shapes using grease pencil Right, I can always go back to the grease pencil and then turn on this auto keying and go to the top view. I just I can just draw new shapes. And then if I update it using arrow keys, now the new kind of like new city is being generated. Okay, like, I mean like the super basic one, there's a few glitches here and there, but the idea is from this face polygon that we cut, we can actually build this type of city. I will just copy the modifier, and this one the same. What's gonna happen is, we also need to center the polygon center the origin to geometry and we're gonna have the city sort of okay maybe they are too close together and maybe i need to insert insert the face a little bit <clears throat> but other than that this is uh quite promising i think it's a it's really nice idea that i think will eventually part of geometry nodes currently i'm still relying on sphere chalk so grease pencil coming in into sphere chalk take a look at the sphere chalk so this is the cutter for uh, based on the grease pencil. So grease pencil coming in, and then it's got the this resembling. It's got resemble, and I think what I, I miss here is to actually to reset the shape. There should be one thing that can reset the geometry, but um, let me show you. With a simpler setup, okay. This is what actually going uh, to happen if you have like a grease pencil, and then you draw it, and then Sphere Chalk will make a cut polygon polygon shapes that's following the shapes. Maybe I could do like an inset inset special or inset faces somewhere here. So I could maybe use the inset. Yeah, maybe this is what I should have done. So from these shapes, uh, we can grab it and then just turn this into curve and then just create that uh, little city. So I, yeah, like a little city that's based on Angon. Originally, I was doing this separately, and it is, this is my original setup. I have a curved circle, and I have this curved circle, uh, circle being uh, modified by this noise. So it uh, gives like a slight randomness. And then I resemble, I resemble the curve, and then I, I extrude I extrude the the edge out like uh, outside like pushing it out you can also pushing it in if you use like a negative value so in or out whichever you like and then and I split the edges because I already uh, resample the curve so this is gonna create how many buildings we want based on the shape and then I extrude it, I split the edge and then I have control over the scale element so they're they're not 
you can make it not touching each other so yeah slightly separated and then of course the rest of them is just extrude lots of extrude with a little bit of control over the height of the building we can randomize the building and okay there's this scale element i think this is only for the details um yeah to make a simple building like this shade smooth and bevel the bevel without the bevel is looking low poly with bevel slightly better slightly medium so yeah this is the <clears throat> the original idea you can like supply for example curve and you can you can draw the curve like in any shapes and here you can make it cyclic and then based on this curve you can transfer it into this guy so basically our curve coming in replacing the circle and we're gonna have this new design based on the curve and you can always go back to the curve select the curve go to edit mode reshape the curve so any closed curve and we can have new sort of design for our small little city like I mean if this is like a, an urban life each I think each circle will create a smaller city uh, I mean maybe it's not called a city but it's part of the neighborhood so this with this setup with grease pencil one um so if i bring the setup from this guy so we have the one that's one already been created i just copy it open this one i, I want to apply the same thing um so one let me try one copy modifier okay it, it works I can go back to geometry nodes so yeah basically sphere chalk is processing the grease pencil and then the output is the shapes and then from each shapes we apply geometry nodes we can use the extrusion okay you might see you might notice the extrusion is a little bit wrong okay I think I'm missing something like a control on where the extrusions origin needs to happen so where where it's gonna need to push it i'm assuming each geometry is pushing it from the center of the geometry so in order to make this work i need to right click and set the origin to geometry right and you can scale it out or scale it in in this case we want to scale it in okay so same deal one two three shape right click set geometry origin to geometry select this last one command l copy modifier we have this little city i hope i hope this could spark like um, some idea for future geometry nodes so you need to basically set origin to geometry i need to do that there should be a way to do that using sphere chalk or geometry nodes. I believe you can do that using uh, geometry nodes. But for now, just do it manually. Right click, set origin to geometry, and then command L, copy modifier. And you get this. So for each shapes that's being generated uh, and processed by sphere chalk from grease pencil, we can then <clears throat> reapply new shapes so again once you have this tool select grease pencil go to draw mode because grease pencil have way to animate you can draw strokes uh, yeah just draw like a random strokes like this any shapes that you've created will get cut by grease pencil and it's becoming new shapes that spin inset select all these shapes 
copy the geom copy the modifier first right click set origin to geometry <clears throat> and you get the shapes and you still have a bit of control with the geometry nodes as usual multiplier seed oh there's a count control how many and there's a w that's i didn't use but you can always modify that yourself so we can have like this uh city of barcelona type of city as long you create the shapes and the grid this could be like a this could become like a like a road and each one of them can have like a small street to goes inside the neighborhood each one of them can have like a like a small little park it's becoming uh, quite interesting actually if you design a city like this and it's very well planned i don't know how it actually works in, in real life maybe some people will have complaints it uh or it could be like a like a very efficient and very organized city if you make it like this less crowd i mean there should still be cars but people can walk around as well all right so that's the idea hopefully you find it useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye